everyone welcome back to another video on my channel today i'm going to be removing these nails from my left hand they are the magpie full-on tip so i'm going to show you how i remove them um, as quick as possible i'm going to be using this contraption here which is definitely not a contraption but it's got um hot well, not hot water but like well yeah between warm and hot water in the bottom and then my acetone in the top i've put that in now because that gives it chance to warm up while i'm prepping my nails for soaking so that'll be much quicker then if the acetone is warmer obviously you don't want it to be hot though and burn you but warming it up will make it work quicker so it's always worth doing that whether you do it with like heated mitts or those bags that you can warm up and put them on your hands and stuff like that um because it also works quicker if your hands themselves are warmer because obviously if your hands are freezing then it's gonna cool it down so just getting a bit of of a napkin so i can catch the dust i'm about to create so first things first i need to file down the bulk of these nails they don't actually need soaking off they're not grown out or anything as you can see um they are literally pretty new like i've only had them on for about a week but i've been filming videos on them as you've saw but i need to take them off because i'm going to be doing a full set with the what are they called the mag no these are the mag ones with the nail order um my brain's gone really dead oh extensions i'm gonna be doing that in the next video so well the next video that i film i don't know when i'll be uploading it so i'm using my purple purple my purple willow bit and we're just going to use that to take down the bulk so you want to make sure that you look from this way and see how thick the nail is before you get going because you don't want to put this really coarse bit onto your natural nail because it will just shred it up so we're making sure to make sure like we really want to make sure that we do leave some product on there but obviously the thinner the amount that you leave the quicker it's going to be to soak it off um because there's not going to be as much product there for the acetone to penetrate through so you want to take off as much as you can but without going all the way down to the uh, natural nail so as you can see from the side it's thin but it's not my actual natural nail there is still a layer of gel there and that will make the soaking off process much quicker like so and then i'm just going to do that to the rest of them but i'll do it a bit sped up okay so this is what they look like now i've took the bulk down as you can see from a side view and like whatever this angle is called um they are nice and thin now so all i'm going to do real quick is just go around the cuticle area with my anastasia bit from uh willow academy and i'm just going to push that cute but this is mainly i wouldn't do this if they were grown out but i'm only doing this because they are they're not um, so because my skin is so close to the product because they're basically freshly applied I'm just using this bit to almost push the skin back away from the product as much as I can um, so the acetone can really get to it and so when I'm scraping it off I'm not going to be disturbing that skin surrounding the nail that is why I'm doing that really quickly and then like I said I've got my um acetone here i'm just going to pop my nails in it's nice and warm but not hot so it'll work a bit quicker it's now as you can see here in the corner 138 i'm going to give these 10 minutes so i will be back here at 148 to show you what they look like and get on with the soaking off process it's been 10 minutes i've got proof here because my watch will tell you what time it is it is 48 minutes past we're going to take these out and have a look so I've got my scraper at the ready and this is what they look like. 
pretty gross to be fair and also i completely forgot to mention that i actually put cuticle oil on my cuticle area um i forgot to put it on like on camera before i put my hand into the lamp obviously so you won't have seen me put it on but i did take my hand straight back out the lamp um and I know it looks like I'm being really aggressive with my nails and I am to be fair and it is mainly just because I don't care if they break because I'm going to be cutting them down to put those tips on so it's fine but anyway um back to what I was originally saying I did put cuticle oil on my cuticle area before I put my hand back in acetone again just because it, it stops that skin drying out quite as much if you've got cuticle oil there as like a barrier sort of thing so we're just using my cuticle pusher to lift off all the product that is lifted and not putting any pressure on areas that are not already lifted because if they're not lifted they're not lifted like you're just gonna put it back in the acetone and cure and cure we're well, not curing acetone but you're gonna put it back in the acetone and soak for a little bit longer um that's all so it's now just the free edge area that is still stuck and I literally just said I'm not putting any pressure on places that are not unstuck yet and I'm literally doing that exact thing um so I'm not going to do that so what I'm going to do now we've got the majority off this time is just go in with a hand file just file over any areas that still have some gel get any of that top layer off that is still are able to be removed so we're not soaking bits that are already soaked basically so I'm just going over the surface with that file and then once I've done that and roughed them up a bit I'm going to pop them straight back into the acetone I'm actually going to cut my nails down first this time instead of wasting my time soaking bits off places that I'm going to cut anyway. Of course we're not focused. And then once I've done that I'm going to put them straight back into the acetone. It is now 51 minutes past. I'm going to give it till, uh, hmm, how long am I going to do? I'll give it about six minutes. So we'll do 57. I've had a look at them and they don't need as long as I said. So it's now 54. So it's been like, what, three minutes? So that's all we needed for this last bit because the majority of it is off. It's literally just those that very last little tiny bit that first 10 minutes got off very nearly everything so it didn't need a lot of time at all for this last little bit and also my prep um for my new set well obviously i've only just realized how zoomed out i am um will obviously remove any tiny tiny like last bits anyway so i'm not bothered about there being a very small thin amount left So I'm just getting rid of the last few bits. Like so. And then the thumb. To be fair, I did forget that the thumb had got a little bit more on, but it's fine. Oh, that's coming off nicely anyway so it's fine perfect like i said any tiny last bits will come off with prep anyway so that's really easy so now i'm not sure whether to film the next bit on this video or leave it mm, no i'm gonna do it on this video so the way that i then sort my nails out after a soap off is just give them a quick file to shape for a start because obviously I've cut them down and not done anything with them so I need to get rid of any sharp edges and reshape. I'm just going to file the very free edge. I don't want to go over the very free edge too many times with my sanding band 
and thin it out too much to a breaking point so I'm just going to do that gently with this hand file because it is a 180 grit hand file but it's really old I've used it a lot so it's not got a lot of grit left so I'm just rounding them off nice and short because I'm going to have these extensions on for a while because I really want to test them out so again just filing off any little extra bits that are still on the free edge sorry if you can hear any background noise it's the washing machine If you've seen any of my salon videos, you'll know that I work from a utility type room. So the washing machine is at the end of my room. And if my parents and myself couldn't do any washing when I was in here, we'd basically never have any clean clothes because I'm in here all the time, either working on clients or working doing videos. So I don't really leave this room all that often, to be honest with you. Right, so once I've done that, I'm then going to go in again with a cuticle bit. I'm using the Anastasia bit again because it's my favourite out of all of them. And I'm just going to do my cuticles properly this time and really clean them up and go down the sidewalls as well. My cuticles have been done really recently um, and I do keep on top of this hand of my cuticles. Um, especially because obviously I do videos on this left hand often so I need my cuticles to be well in shape all the time basically to be able to use this hand every day for videos so if my cuticle skin was in the way all the time I wouldn't be able to do that so I do have to keep on top of it I'm just going around making sure to get everything you can see there is still a really small amount of gel left on this one in the cuticle area there we go and then just the thumb and then i'm going to go in with a sanding band and just very very gently go over the whole surface of every nail just on a low rpm it's just on 5000 and we're just going to rough up the surface at the same time as removing any extra little bits if there is any but there really isn't much left at all to be honest i'm not putting any pressure on just as you wouldn't if you're using a hand file yet the file do its do its thing um a sanding band is the equivalent to a nail file so anything you do with a with a hand file is what you can do with a sanding band obviously you wouldn't debulk with a sanding but with an e with a pan file well i suppose there might be people out there that do if they don't use an e-file but me personally i wouldn't just because it's going to cause a lot of friction it's going to take a long time and it's going to hurt your arm a lot um so yeah i don't i don't do that so just use your carbide bits for that sort of thing but basically anything you do the hand file for you can use the sanding band so i'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of my nails because obviously the washing machine has suddenly just ramped up a bit and gone a bit extra oh seems to have been slowing down a bit now it's in the last 15 minutes so it's going a bit crazy but yeah just going to finish these and then i'll come and show you what they look like at the end okay so at this point if i wasn't doing something on top of one else after this or if i was doing a removal for somebody who wasn't having another type of enhancement applied i'd now at this point when i've just done all that get them to go and wash their hands and then come back i'd apply cuticle oil i'd sort out the cuticles obviously if they needed doing um, I'd apply cuticle oil to the actual nail bed, use a really fine buffer to just buff that in a little bit to shine them up a bit and then I would apply cuticle oil around the nails and then that would be that but because I'm putting product on these nails all I'm going to do just to clean them up a little bit more is just spray with a uh, with this cleansing spray from Sally's and then just go in with a manicure brush and just give them a quick brush underneath and on top and everything just to really clean them up get them looking like nails again and then once that dries i'll be ready to go on to whatever i want to do next basically because all that's in that cleansing spray is literally just isopropyl alcohol um and some blue coloring so that is all you get from it so i hope this video was useful for anyone wanting to know how to remove 
nails um it's the same process for removing basically anything so yeah i hope it was useful thank you so much for watching and i'll be back really soon with another video bye